Yes. Um. Since Nigerian army, eh? Don't they kill Nigerian police? And also subsequently freeing an arrested, suspected kidnapper, kingpin. Hey, too much. And I ask you, do you think you are safe in this British colonial contraption called Nigeria? <laughs> I don't think so. But meanwhile, the Nigerian police, the chief, the boss, the IGP, don't ask the Nigerian military, the head of Nigerian military, eh? Probing and indicting questions. We could have read them, eh? Before you go talk, say I don't talk another one, eh? The rhythm. Can you to kula? Let me go sit down. Je je je, eh? Make I yarn you the real cocoa because na southeast me I get interest for. What did they happen for Nigeria? I no care. Hmm? Make we fly go back my my homeland. But meanwhile, the rhythm I they come. Yes, as you can see, there is fire on the mountain. But that one, not their own business. Now I'm back to Igbo land. Precisely, Imo State. As you know that I just returned from Imo State, where we went to submit the demand of Imo people to their chief servant, Emeki Hediora, as led by Charlie Boy, the president of all frustrated and angry Nigerians. Because if you did here, they watch me. Eh? Whether you be Ari or Biafra or Dudu, eh? and you are not angry and you are comfortable with the way things are in Nigeria, eh? the only thing I go tell you, sorry. Eh? Now, make I tell you what in my eyes see. In fact, I go reserve them for another day. I mean, what I witnessed in Imo State. In fact, it is embarrassing. Eh? I no go talk I'm here so that I no go distract myself from addressing very important pressing issues facing Ndibo today. Eh? I will leave it for another day. Just expect me. Just keep reminding me eh? that I get something when I want here and you wait in my eyes see for Imo State. Good. Now, the Biafran war veterans, I went to their meeting, or they actually invited me to cover their own demand to the southeastern governors. And that really touched me. Do you know why? These men risked all their life. Many have died though. The ones surviving are living in the worst state of life. Totally abandoned by their own people. You know, before now, they told me that they have been asking federal government to rehabilitate them, to reintegrate them, and all of that. According to what they, you know, declared that time, 3 R. Reconstruction, rehabilitation, and reintegration, which never happened. Good. It doesn't bother me too much. Say, federal government did not rehabilitate our fathers, the Biafran war veterans. But what is breaking my heart is why they are being abandoned by their own people. The people whom they fought to defend for their sake and for the future of Igbo race and the Biafran people in general. You see, I always believe in the um, school of thought we say, you no go go work for Shell and you expect Chevron 
to pay you salary. Yeah? I am not worried about Nigeria federal government at all, though, because that's one. It is a clear, dusted issue. See, they no one hear anything about Biafra. They know, they are, in fact, they have sworn to make sure that Biafran people continue to live in a deplorable situation. So, expecting them to compensate, to rehabilitate or integrate the Biafran war veterans or even their children, eh? it is a, you know, daydream. Now, it breaks my heart to see that the government of the Southeast have abandoned these people completely. They don't think about them. They don't include them in anything they do in their agenda, in their programs, in whatsoever. And these men have said, enough is enough. I don't want to say too much. Let me take you to what they have said. And I want you to listen to them directly because here let's say Nancy. <laughs> I'm a veteran. 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 i a uh, um, Mike, uh, Chief Mike, Oji Akonweze. As I was the liberation of Midwest, under 12 battalion, Colonel Mike Ivenso Kaguleri. So now, so we are here. even in a during the Mbali in a year, Mbali Oguni in a year, no. On your behalf, we are in the Tanya Obuna. Medically, we are all we are in a year. On Ogun, even in even in a year, so far, so we need after that 
we are no help at all. Mobile Strike Force, no Kigwe. If I na suffer, manando to mobo. Apart from Nane Kwankwana, I and Neta and Yetwes in Neta soldiers, I and Fenro Gona Nigeria. My guy and I too will look to do very vermin. In cause of Boka injustice to the society, I and in Kamabuko, a bozoka. That is society injustice to do too much. Dalo. Arambo Francis Ibezim Noge Aga Piafra na Nigeria Asa vanda many sectors Bebe nsa vizi ikpazo Oguwewe ebuna 38 Battalion 56 Brigade 12 Div because that Tarina area they on 18th of that month, as of January, I may open corridor to find ways of this year. Maru Kita, Unquegue, three hours on where in Kemeleme. You were where and you went on now for Eruga. I go, I will be able to nothing. I went on a comment I know him where he can even with the Niana. Iroga, he would know be more in person, he would know be never hammer. But I found no weapon and do move any name where on your own Buddha and our sovereign. They are all at oversee. Rapo anyo wa wundi mele zofta ba mbabia ka eliminate tiani the whole eastern region. Oya kerigo ore chetani oya kerigo ore chetani abo ina zowo aiwe na ajo. Avu wa anyo tare onare na ketene bikono. Mwa bo mafia Gabriel a veteran. Aya ne aga pido banyami jeshwe nimpota. I post to him Ogidi on the 39 battalion. I will be the boy. Baba Nabe. Now you sign the good debt. Cowards of Tande, Alani, no more than the 20 20. Obi Nina can do well by any time. When Wayabog, upon even in eyes of an army, Ni Mofia, plain and now wine, Mana Luzier, Kogubi. A cool agari abletit, ndi ndi bia France no log. Where I go now going? I rehabilitated in Dowsa, rehabilitated in Yoruba. Where in came in Dibo? Till today, I went out of Kidifa Ime, nine as up to Budani. Ndi wait to Kwani Sino Budani. And where the Kina Yanya? Juma in Eliquini, Kedikuma is here, me? Kedifobo. Because now you to be I see. Can you So man, I'm not bored. Di mu, di mu langu erika, di melu ala erika. Ongwere ogwa ne nyefa, ongwere ni ya ne nyefa. Uzo mechiye. I went to manya bogo. Me ya nyabu uzo. Go si for no buy kai no. New day no bita tabu na asina oko agubiri. I said, no victor, no vanquish. Till today, where if I and I yan, where if I forgot to meet in a yan, and where if I request if I and yan, I never could compensate yan. It was well compensating the other. Nothing. I rap on Yago and I go with the mud. Members are veterans now, Mrs. Afambo Samuel Wosu Unyamorobia No Gaga. Hasavun Natem Battalions under Colonel Okafor. Anno Kataledia has an instructor. Agucho 
Ikpe be mada abo. Asi na yo ebo. Ayo wo buzye. Owe re mpani yine ekwe la anyi. Nke emele eme. Nke ne wute kene. Nke ne wute kene yombo. Omu anyi. Anyi mutale. Wucha governors ba. Wucha state leaders now. Bacha House of Assemblies. Bacha Senate. Umu anyi. Anyi mutale. Umuro ene na anyi anya. Onye ba. Oligolo. Oba anyi nkete. Come on. Iwe te wu. Medical facilities. Kenya and the veteran. Umuro re. Iwe ben na ye ben no ba. Iwe na ye anka no ba. O so chine ke maale. Umuro na si biko. Obu zia obu zigini. No umu anyi mutale. Umuro cha governor so ba. Na the whole eastern region. Umuro re governor. Ne kuto kun di veteran. I kuto ku. Odo kasi babu. Ngwe na si biko. Ndo na nuonum. Nye na nyaka. Na mad na nasko na na. Kan no lo. Li juwa ba wena ba. Thank you sir. On behalf of the entire Biafran veterans. We have decided to air our view this day. I am Major General Emmanuel. I entered the Biafran, I mean the army, not Biafran army, the army, soon after the pogroms and massacre of uh, Easterners. I joined the army as Eastern Command Nigerian Army. I was the second, I was in the second intake, intake, train, before the war started. I am a commander, I was a commander, please, in 7th Infantry Battalion, company commander. My company commander first before my taking over from him was uh, Colonel Boulier. Colonel Boulier was my commander. In a nutshell, we, you have heard what my co colleagues, their laments and complaints, how we are being suppressed, neglected, rejected. We are not happy. I will not blame the federal government because there is an adage saying that the broom sweeps right from the room to outside. Why? I am blaming the southeastern governors, our children. We are the elders of the land. Without us, they would have not attained to this pinnacle they are now. They forgot us. Could you believe that we, the elders, the veterans, heard that the mother of our governor died and we sympathized and organized ourselves and trooped to Agule. His domicile. The moment he heard that the veterans are coming in, he disappeared from the table. What an I saw. What a disgrace. And even to today, they are still practicing that, showing that no remorse. They know what they are doing. Every blessed year, there will be a remembrance of the, of the dead, veterans. But keeping the, the living under the carpet without remorse. In fact, this is why I say I will not blame federal government. I'm blaming our governors. And this is why we are here today to have a radical change in the politics. We are here now 
to declare our stand and our support with all the veterans. I am here deputizing for the general commander, General E. O. Osai. Oju who handed him over the mantle. Yet, we are all neglected. Both the governments from the day one, since when the politics started, none of the governors has remembered us. Even to give us serpents or free medical care as old people, as people that matters, they just leave us with reckless abandon. Though the war ended with three hours, who and who is to move that three hours to the federal government? It's the governors that will worry the federal government for the payment. But on their own side too, they are lacking. They relegated us to nothing. But thank God, there is a new movement we are supporting. And that is People's Restoration, Restoration Movement. 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 PRM, who stands for freedom and justice. I seize this opportunity to call all Biafrans, veterans, both in diaspora and at home, to send their data immediately with current and complete address a, a place of service where you served, your number, your phone number, let them be forwarded to me. We are the only veterans throughout the eastern region that have office. And our office is number 70. Works Road of Quata Express, Oka, for the People's Redemption Restoration is making every serious arrangement by this media. I am warning also all the Eastern governors to integrate us in their governance, without which we, the veterans, our wives, our children, our relatives, will flush them out politically. They will not have any vote from us. On behalf of the veterans, I'm demanding that we be placed on free medical care. We are not begging, but we are giving it as what they supposed to do. Okay, um, the veterans, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. I will know. Is that your position? Yes. 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 Okay. You have had it all. In fact, because of time factor, we couldn't cover everything because their lamentation, their nightmare, if we start compiling them here, we will talk about it from now till the next generation because it is too much. These men have suffered. These men risked everything. In fact, the most disturbing part of it is these Southeast governors who have abandoned them. And let me tell you, without these men, there might not be anything called Southeast today. There might not be anything called Iboland today. Every one of us, including the churches and every society, should look into this. Because without this man, what you are calling for today will never be. I mean Iboland or Biafra. Why would they be abandoned? Why would they be allowed to languish?
in abject poverty and in penury. This is the disgrace of a nation. Look at them. Just look at them. Look at how they look at them. This is just, let me tell you, many of them are in so many places in their homes without care. Some of them are in care homes, which uh, Rafa was reconstructed in uh, where they, in somewhere in Imo State. You see, these men gave their all. Why abandon them? And now they are making their demand. Because now, we know they ask government for anything. And thank God for PRM, who is standing in the gap to ensure that these veterans are reintegrated, are rehabilitated, and taken care of. And it is not only in Anambra State, but the entire Southeast. We are making this demand to the Southeastern governors. If you have your father that is still alive, that is a Biafra war veteran, because I don't know any elderly man above 60 to 70 years that is not a Biafra war veteran. The Biafra war veteran, it's very difficult for you to find them. All of them trooped out a mass to defend our land. Bring them. We want all their data documented. We want all of them where they are so that we will persuade. It is not even begging. We will persuade the demand of these veterans on these state governors who have abandoned them. Because without them, you cannot even be governors today. You might not even be alive to smell any seat called governorship. You may not even have a land to call your own that you are governing. So, if you are listening to my voice, tell your parents or your father, your uncle, your ward, any of your relation that is alive that fought the war, we need to compile all their data and you call this number to drop all their data to them. You are ever there because we will document them, have them all in the register and make sure that they are all compensated. Even if you don't give them statements, at least the, the irreducible minimum you can give them is free medical attention. They all will have a card from the state government that wherever they are sick, they can go to the clinic, whether you call it a healthcare center or hospitals, to have medical attention. At least the minimum. Some of them are carrying bullet wounds. Some of them are still suffering from the effect of that war up to today. And you abandon them. And you are driving motorcades and you are collecting one point something billion for security vote yes nothing is happening and these men have been allowed to die tomorrow you will celebrate them war veterans day your heroes day those that died why you have abandoned those who are alive celebrating the ones that are dead then abandoning those who are still alive enough is there enough do what i just said Call the number you're seeing on the screen. That call the numbers there. We need all the data of Biafra war veterans wherever they are. The registers is being opened in all the states. Call the numbers on the on that place to get their names, their phone numbers where they are, because we will not want to have any one of them left behind. That is where I'm wrapping it up on this program today. Because that is exactly why I am making this video. We will not allow our war veterans to die after 50 years of their war in pains. The biggest punishment you can give them. Some of them may even regret why they fought that war. Some of them will say, oh, I wish I died with my comrades instead of to live to face this kind of life. And see our land that they are fought for in this kind of situation. Enough is what? Enough. Get your words. Get your dad. Get your, even your mothers. Some of the women, they fought. Yes. Bring all their data. We need their names. The local government. Their phone numbers. Where they are staying. Because we are getting all their data. And the state government. We, just like we did in Imo State. Yeah, submitting the demand of Indi Imo State to the governor. Every, in fact, anyone that do not do this. You know what? You heard what they say. We will flush them all out of office. If they if any governor or any state or any House of Rep member or any assembly member that will not 
heed to this or ensure that this demand of these veterans are carried out we will flush them all out of this because they have no no reason staying there and that is where i'm ending it on today's program thank you for those of you who have been subscribing thank you for those of you who have been following what you are doing keep bringing it on and i tell you one thing eh? do not allow those politicians those corrupt infected politicians in power to take over our platform this is the last stand of the common man's voice this platform bvi channel one we don't care about anything but the survival of Igbo land and biafra in general the economic development and the political freedom of my people that is what we are into and you with your support we will not compromise we need a whole lot to do this job we need a whole lot to do this job financially we have brought ourselves out there are a lot of logistics but we are getting very little i plead with you do not allow this voice to go down eh? because if you don't see me tomorrow you say hey they have given this guy money he has collected money let me tell you i have a life to live i'm still going to get married i am still going to bear children i am still going to take care of my mom my widowed mom eh? good i'm still going to take care of her i have my own needs and i left all of that to serve my people if this voice if we can't sustain from the little we have if this voice goes down my people bear me witness nobody gave me a cover because this platform will not okatiru okubazu we will never instead we shut down don't allow this platform to go down come to our rescue we need a lot of things we've asked for drone we asked for mike we've asked for your financial support to continue doing what you're doing the roads are so dilapidated that our cars are always your mechanic help us to help our nation i'm going this is the kind of thing i never want to do pleading asking for money every day mechanic but we must continue eh? we must continue that's it, I'm